so help me, God. I have heard the groaning of my people. I've seen their misery. I am concerned, and I've come to rescue them. But right now, they're not in Egypt, the land of slavery. They are not in Canaan, the land of milk and honey. They, my friends, are in the land between. The land between is not only fertile ground for complaint, it is fertile ground for meltdown. I hear the voice of a couple that has gone in for medical test after medical test after medical test after medical test, and yet there is no solid diagnosis yet. And finally the wife just goes, this is too, this is too heavy, I can't carry this anymore. And what if when we're worn out and beat up and we open our hands and we say, I can't carry this anymore. What if our gracious God says, keep your hands open, let me provide. I just ask you again, what if he's good? Think about discipline with me for a moment. We respect loving parents who bring timely and appropriate discipline to the children. Now, that doesn't contradict their love. That's part of their love. You know, you know what discipline is. It's inflicting pain for redemptive purposes. The land between, the desert, the two years that they've spent there so far was intended to transform them from the people of slavery to the people of God. They needed this time. And throughout the time, God is saying, I need you to trust me. I need you to trust me. I need you to trust me. 